And welcome back into the Bank of Colorado Event Center at Northeastern Junior College in Sterling, Colorado, as we set for the start of the third match of the 1A District 4 Volleyball Tournament, second official match of Pool A, as the Pawnee Lady Coyotes, the four-seeded team coming into this tournament at 13-6, and six, take on the Prairie Lady Mustangs, now 8-11, and 1-1 one and one on the day. But if Pawnee gets the victory, they guarantee their appearance on Saturday in the championship pool. If Prairie comes away with a win, Pawnee would then have to beat Weldon Valley next to stay alive. Otherwise, if Pawnee were to lose to Weldon Valley, then Weldon Valley and Prairie would move on. I'm Ben Black. I'm very glad you've joined us exclusively on ColoradoPreps.tv, the exclusive home for all your postseason volleyball video. And we're very glad to say we are that exclusive home as a part of the Chassa TV network. We'll be able to be bringing you the entire state volleyball tournament as well with live video online, all five courts, Class 1A through 5A. Pawnee and Prairie set to do battle. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll meet the starters, and we'll have the opening serve next on this big-time Small Town Media production. The Pawnee Station Restaurant wishes the Prairie Mustangs a great postseason tournament. Then visit the Pawnee Station Restaurant in New Raymer for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including their famous homemade pies and more. Open Monday through Thursday, 6 to 6, Friday, 6 to 10 p.m., and open Saturday, 9 to 10 p.m. Bring the whole family to the Pawnee Station Restaurant for a meal everyone will enjoy. Call 970-437-5726. Place an order to go. Go fight win Prairie Mustangs. Paul and Luann of West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast congratulate the Pawnee Coyotes on a great season and wish them best of luck in the postseason. West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast is a working ranch located in northeast Colorado, 20 miles west of Grover. Create your own adventure at West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast. Bring your horse and ride across the plains. Visit the Pawnee Buttes or enjoy the Pawnee National Grasslands, where 250 different species of birds are located. Call the West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast at 970-895-2482 or visit westpawneeranch.com. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts and Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. Dewey's Bar and Grill in downtown Stoneham wishes all area teams good luck in the volleyball tournament this week. Join Dewey's Bar and Grill for their house specials of prime rib, smoked ribs, and salmon, Thursday through Saturday from 5.30 to 8.30. Reservations are preferred. Call today for the crab boil reservations on Saturday, November 10th. Call Dewey's Bar and Grill in downtown Stoneham at 970 735 2747 and good luck to all area teams in this week's volleyball tournament. Here's a simple math problem. What's one plus one? Two, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, one plus one add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where one plus one equals free. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Get your DVD copies of the event you're seeing live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all of the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're community.
Everybody knows that when a great opportunity, like an iPhone, presents itself, you grab it. Somebody says they've got tickets to the big game and can't go, you grab the tickets. Somebody tells you that you can get an iPhone at a special price, you grab it. And it's true. For a limited time, Viero has iPhones for only $79.99. And we'll even pay your early termination fees up to $200 when you switch to Viero. All that and coverage you can count on. So hurry into Viero today. Your iPhone is here. Restrictions apply. See store for details. And welcome back into the Bank of Colorado Event Center. It's time to meet our starters for our third match of the day as the Pawnee Lady Coyotes and the Prairie Lady Mustangs get set to do battle. The Pawnee Lady Coyotes will be on the right side of your screen in the, well, those might be the most legit jerseys I've seen this year for a high school volleyball team. Uh, the Pawnee Lady Coyotes in the red, white, and black jerseys. The Prairie Lady Mustangs in the black. For the Pawnee Lady Coyotes, they'll be the home team in this one. They'll start... Uh, a senior, Lindy Johnston. Two juniors, Brooke Tillman and Afton Zedek. Two sophomores, Kirby Anderson and Morgan Sanders. And a freshman, Kendra Koenig. Their libero is a senior. Sarah Vieira, head coach, is Marcy Koenig. Same starting lineup for the Prairie Lady Mustangs. And head coach, Hillary Meckelberg. They will have two seniors, Daniel Harms and Savannah Hastings. A junior, Alyssa Harms. A sophomore, Rebecca Kaiser. And two freshmen, Haley Dollarshell and Shane Northrup. The libero is freshman, Madison Holtzworth. The Prairie Lady Mustangs coming into this contest 1-1 one and one on the year day, beating Prairie, uh, or beating, well, of course, they can't beat Prairie. They beat Briggsdale earlier today, 3-0, then lost to Weldon Valley, 3-0. I saw a lot of growth, however, for them in the second match against the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. And, you know, this young Prairie team, they've, played Pawnee this season twice as they're in the same league, and I believe they took a set off Pawnee the first time they played. Second time, I'm pretty sure, was a sweep uh, in favor of the Coyotes. The Coyotes came in finishing third out of the North Central League, which puts them in this tournament as the four seed. As Caliche out of the Lower Platte League, the only Class 1A team out of the Lower Platte League will step in to this. And, uh, well, they attempted this year to actually make district matches in addition to the, um, a, in addition to the league matches there, um, but uh, unable to find a date for, I believe it was Caliche and uh, Briggsdale to meet up. I think everybody else played everybody, and Caliche and Briggsdale was the only one they couldn't find a date for those two teams to square off to play, quote-unquote, league matches. They do that in the Panhandle in Nebraska. Um, where they're, they've, they're in the same, a lot of them are in the same league, but they also play out of the same district as well, so they'd have a district matchup that would determine seedings. Did not, however, successfully do that, and uh, go with this seeding system for this year. Who knows what next year will bring. The Prairie Lady Mustangs going left to right will have the serve. Let's get all our rosters up here so we make sure we know everybody. And Savannah Hastings starting with that serve for the Prairie Lady Mustangs. It'll be lying down the far side, fielded down the middle, and Morgan Sanders, nice attack, chased down by the Prairie Mustangs. Nice return back by Rebecca Kaiser. Coyotes chasing it down in a back row swing from maybe the best player on the Coyote roster. Lindy Johnston goes down for the opening point of the match in favor of Pawnee. A lot of uh, coaches not only regard her as the best player on this Pawnee team, but maybe one of the top players in the North Central League. I'm talking top three, possibly top, or top five, possibly top three. It's a nice swing on the far side for the Prairie Lady Mustangs, and Rebecca Kaiser ties us at one here in the first. Hands a serve over to Alyssa Harms. Harms. Lindy Johnston with a swing down the middle for Pawnee. Puts it down and makes it 2-1 in favor of the Coyote. She's got both of her team's points right now. Hands a serve over to Koenig. 2A District 2 volleyball action on ColoradoPreps.tv. Yuma top taxed in the opening game there, 25-10. Also have action going on in Akron and Holyoke. Coyotes with a near side swing and a miss hit ball by Kirby Anderson goes down to make it 3-1 in favor of the Coyotes. Koenig serve. 
Popped up by the Mustangs. Near side set and the attack played deep. Popped up and then tipped back over by, I believe, that was Tobman. All played to the back line as Koenig chased it down. Anderson near side swing. Far side set up for Kaiser. Her attack is down and in for a kill. So the Prairie Lady Mustangs, like they did against Weldon Valley, hanging around. As Kaiser steps back with a serve. They'll put it down the middle, popped up on the Coyote side. And a back row swing from Libero, Lin, or, uh, Sarah Vieira, too big and out. And we're tied up here in the first. Kaiser serve, fielded by Sarah Vieira. Set up in a nice swing far side by Lindy Johnston. Chased down near the stands, but goes askew. And Lindy Johnston picks up her third kill of the contest for three Pawnee. Togman serve. Wide short. Far side swing from Northrop. Tip down the line, too wide and out. Serve from the Coyotes will be played short. Popped up near the front row. Not cleanly. That's going to be an ace. Pawnee. Getting good run once again. Mustangs have given up too much of that today. Far side swing Northrop. Dug out by Vieira. Set near post. Big swing. Kirby Anderson clipping the net. And the free ball back over by the Mustangs is misplayed. Nice swing by Kirby Anderson, but a great defensive reaction by Prairie. And there's a reason they've won eight matches this season. This is not a slouch six seed coming into this tournament. Dollar Shell lining in near side. Ball cannot be played cleanly, and the Coyotes will end up with a free ball on to the Mustang side. Far side swing for Northrop. She tips it over. Ball not played cleanly, and it gets down. And back within one come the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Serve goes into the net just when the Mustangs have gotten momentum in all three matches today. They commit a mental error. Like that one right there, 7-5. Lindy Johnston's serve short, fielded for the Mustangs. Far side set and off the block at the net went Savannah Hastings. Returned back by Kirby Anderson. Ball dug out and the set back over. Koenig pops it out. Tugman setting it up for Sanders. She's dug out on the front row for the Mustangs. Set it up and Savannah Hastings hammers it far side. Popped up by Lindy Johnston, punched over by Zedek, and a checkup on the front row back onto the near side for Danielle Harms, her attack deep. Chased down by Koenig, and then a free ball back over from Kirby Anderson. Nice step in to take that ball off the back row for the Mustangs. Far side swing for Northrop, down and in for a kill. The Prairie Lady Mustangs. Not going to roll over in this one. A progressively got better in spite of the scores getting further apart with the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. You're playing the number one team in the state. You can't exactly expect close ones all the way through sometimes. Sanders freed it back over for the Coyotes. Northrop far side swing. She puts it down and in for a kill. Seven all we go here in the first. Serve far side. Pancaked. Kept in play, not cleanly though, and it'll go down, and Prairie takes an 8-7 advantage. From the 2A District 2 Volleyball Tournament, the Wiggins Lady Tigers, the 7 seed coming into that tournament, just took the first set off the 3 seed and host Holyoke Dragons, 25-23. Coyotes tip the ball over and down and in for a kill, 8-all. And back to serve will go Kirby Anderson for Pawnee. Anderson flies the ball deep, popped up high back row, set near side swing, Northrop miss hit it, and it went down. They started strong against Weldon Valley, 
had a lull in the middle. If they can avoid that lull in the middle, they can win this match against Pawnee. They keep playing the way they've been playing. Pawnee's fire is a little bit lacking right now. Set up for Morgan Sanders. Nice attack. Can't be dug out on the second hit. It's a relatively clean dig. Just misplayed off the front row by the Mustangs. 9 all. Zedek back to serve. She'll knock it deep. Chase down. And a two-hit violation on the setter. A lift ball. Either way, it's a Pawnee point. I'm Ben Blackett. Glad you've joined us on this big-time small-town media production. Zedek will line the ball deep. Set far side. Big swing off the block at the net from Kaiser. Kept in play. And the ball tipped over and down for Koenig. Kendra Koenig able to give Pawnee their first multi-point advantage of the match. Zedek floats the ball far side. Back set near side over the top of the block. Ball chased down off the attack. Sanders with the return back and then punched back over by Savannah Hastings. Pawnee not ready. It dropped. Mustangs will take the serve. Back to do that serving is Savannah Hastings. Her serve far side popped up by Zedek. Zedek will get the back row swing. Checked out. Nice quick touch far side. And the attack off the block at the net from Kaiser. She go over the block the second time. Kept up by Lindy Johnston. Koenig's attack deep. Can't be dug out cleanly. <coughs> and the Pawnee Lady Coyotes take a 12-10 advantage. Sarah Vieira back to serve. She'll put it deep. Misplayed by the Mustangs. They'll get a return back. Vieira can't dig it out very cleanly. And the serve back over to the Prairie Lady Mustangs at 12-11. Back to serve for the Mustangs. We'll go Alyssa Harms. Short serve popped up by Zedek, near side swing, nicely played by Lindy Johnston. She knew what the block was trying to do in front of her and knew that through was the best way. Line serve deep, popped up, back row, set on the near side in the attack, off the block, chased down. Return back, knocked deep, popped up high, set far side, big attack, knocked down. And the Mustangs will give up another point at 12-11. Koenig, line serve short, popped up back row, running bump up high in the tip over for the Coyotes. There we go, and the scoreboard froze up there for a minute. It is 14-12. Coyotes on top of the Mustangs. All line deep. Chase down back row. Running bump up near side. Big attack by Anderson. Far side swing from the Mustangs. Off the block of the net by Northrop. Set far side. The ball returned back over. Dug out. Short set down the middle on a punch over by Dollar Shell. Popped up high. Near side swing from Anderson. Kept in play by the Mustangs, and then they'll fly it too deep and out. It'll go 15-12. Short serve. Popped up by Dollar Shell. Far side set in Northrop. It goes down. Prairie staying close with Pawnee here in the first. Best three out of five. Prairie loses. Their season's done. They win. They likely go on to Saturday. The way Weldon Valley played earlier today, Pawnee's going to have to take a huge step to be able to play with them. Well, that was a nice step right there by Lindy Johnston. She took a nice swing far side. Lindy. A line at far side, popped up by Kaiser, back row. Savannah Hastings knocks it down the line, dug out by Lindy Johnson, and a free ball over by Kendra Koenig. 
Ball checked up on the backside for the Prairie Lady Mustangs, and the return back comes from Harms. Far side set, the attack from Zedek, dug out back row. Set up in the big attack, hammered deep, dug up by the Prairie or Pawnee Lady Coyotes, tipped over by Morgan Sanders for the Coyotes, and the Mustangs can't dig it out, 17-13. Johnston with the serve again. Popped up. Set far side over the top of the block goes Kaiser. Bump up near side and Kirby Anderson punching it down the line. Chase down back row down the middle. The tip over by Savannah Hastings. Zedek will set down the middle for Morgan Sanders. Her attack dug out. Chase down near side by Holtzworth and the free ball played over. Kirby Anderson pops it up high. Set far side. Zedek with the attack down and in for a kill. Morgan Sanders gets the assist. The big middle makes it 18-13. In favor of Pawnee, Lindy Johnston with the serve again. Miss Doug, and it's going to go down. A timeout going to be taken by the Prairie Lady Mustangs as they find themselves down 19-13 here in the first. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, every vehicle is fully inspected before it goes out on the lot, so you don't have to worry about buying that lemon. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday, 9 to 4. Pawnee Lady Coyotes starting to get on a roll, looking to push away from the Prairie Lady Mustangs here in this four versus six matchup of pool play action. 1A District 4 Volleyball. I'm Ben Black, a top two go on to Saturday's championship pool. As Lindy Johnston will continue with the serve for the Coyotes out of the timeout. Ball knocked far side. Popped up by the Mustang, set it up, and the attack hammered down deep from Savannah Hastings. Chased down and a free ball over by Kirby Anderson. Ten-foot line checkup for the Mustangs. Back row set, and the attack will be flatted deep, too deep and out. Johnston with the serve once again. Shell line it deep, chased down by the Mustangs. Set far side, Savannah Hastings off the block, chased up. High by Lindy Johnston. Morgan Sanders down the middle. Ball popped up on the front row by the Mustangs. Tip back over and too wide and out. Nice tip down to end the run, but not before. The Pawnee Lady Coyotes ran off five straight and have created a six-point advantage for themselves. Back to serve for the Lady Mustangs. We'll go one of their two seniors, Daniel Harms. Harms a serve popped up by the Coyotes. Back into the block and the Mustangs. Tillman sets it up and the free ball played toward the back corner by Kirby Anderson. Mustangs keep it in play. Far side swing from Shane Northrup goes down. There's some weapons on this Mustang team that I'm really excited to see develop over the next couple years. Daniel Harms with the serve. Far side popped up back row. Set it up for Kirby Anderson. She'll bang it off the block and it clips the net off the block and drops down to go 21-15 in favor of the Coyotes. Anderson, short serve, popped up by the Mustangs. The attack off the block, down and in for a kill. That goes the credit of Shea Northrup. Northrup will give herself the serve on that kill. Line deep, popped up high, back row, set over the net by Tilgman, hammered back over by Savannah Hastings set it up for Koenig. Her attack popped up high by the Mustangs. Give them time to set. Set far side for Kaiser. Off the block. Down and in for a kill. Back within four again come the Lady Mustangs. Line served deep. Will be popped up high back row. Set near side. Big attack by Koenig. Too big and out. Back within three come the Prairie Lady Mustangs, 21-18. 
Serve popped short, dug out back row, set up far side, and the tip over the block by Sanders down, kept in play, and a lift ball on the free over. Mustangs are making both Weldon Valley and Pawnee fight for every point they're getting today. Our side set in a flat angle deep by Kaiser, popped up by Lindy Johnston. Set up for Sanders down the middle, her attack dug out backside by the Prairie Lady Mustang. Set down the middle, and the attack is hand checked up by Lindy Johnston. Near side set for Koenig, banged off the block, and back up by five again go the Pawnee Lady Coyotes at 23 18. Captain Zedek takes a serve. Zedek. Far side, popped up, back row, set down the middle, off the block at the net, goes Alyssa Harms, down the middle goes Morgan Sanders. She's dug out back row by the Mustangs, far side set for Kaiser, miss hit the ball, checked up high, chased down near side by Lindy Johnson, a free over by Morgan Sanders once again. Set on to the far side, the attack hammered deep, too deep and out, but it's off the touch, off the block, so that'll go to a Mustang point, 23-19 and hand the serve over to Savannah Hastings. Hastings lines the ball short, dug out back row by Lindy Johnson, set it up for Koenig. Koenig puts it down and takes us two game points at 24-19. She'll hand the serve over to senior libero, Sarah Vieira. Vieira, short serve, popped up back row, set up down the middle, big swing by Kaiser, dug out, set over the net, by Lindy Johnston, bumped up high and an attack will be played deep onto the Coyote side. Set down the middle, Lindy Johnston puts it down and that will end the first. The Prairie Lady Mustangs made the Pawnee Coyotes earn every point they got and after one it is 25-19. Back to the Bank of Colorado Event Center after this on this big time small town media production. The Pawnee Station Restaurant wishes the Prairie Mustangs a great postseason tournament. Then visit the Pawnee Station Restaurant in New Raymer for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including their famous homemade pies and more. Open Monday through Thursday, 6 to 6, Friday, 6 to 10 p.m., and open Saturday, 9 to 10 p.m. Bring the whole family to the Pawnee Station Restaurant for a meal everyone will enjoy. Call 970-437-5726. Place an order to go. Go fight win. Prairie Mustangs. Playing sports takes planning. Our day-to-day -day lives take planning, but we're not all prepared to plan for all aspects of our lives. That's why we have to rely on people like Joel Nelson at Nelson Financial to help us plan for our retirement. Plan and invest in your best interest without compromise at Nelson Financial. The only certified financial planner in the area, Joel can't help you out unless you call 970-521-7800. Nelson Financial, better to plan and not need it than need it and have not planned. One of the benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $26 million in patronage dividends. Call us if you want to be part of a local, member-owned and controlled cooperative that understands agriculture. We offer interest rates competitive in the marketplace and our board of directors is committed to a patronage dividend program. Premier Farm Credit the gold standard in ag lending. Paul and Luann of West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast congratulate the Pawnee Coyotes on a great season and wish them best of luck in the postseason. West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast is a working ranch located in northeast Colorado, 20 miles west of Grover. Create your own adventure at West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast. Bring your horse and ride across the plains. Visit the Pawnee Buttes or enjoy the Pawnee National Grasslands where 250 different species of birds are located. Call the West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast at 970-895-2482 or visit westpawneeranch.com. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545, and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Head to the second, 25-19. The first goes the way of the... 
Prairie or Pawnee Lady Coyotes. The Prairie Lady Mustangs fought tough, though. 25-19, the tally. As we head to the second, the uh, matchups all across the state are going on with district volleyball. A lot of them getting underway in Northeast Colorado today. We've got uh, video coverage from every location of the Class 2A District 2 Volleyball Tournament, Yuma, Akron, and Holyoke. You're seeing it right on Colorado Preps. Dot TV, and uh, you'll continue to see all these matches, ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv, when we hit the state championship rounds. Uh, we are very glad to be the official video providers for the state volleyball tournament. Yours truly, definitely very excited about that as well as... Uh, the... Pawnee Lady Coyotes will now be going left to right here in the second. And back to serve will be their alternate color jersey. That's Sarah Vieira here in the second. Vieira. Lines the ball down the middle, popped up high, back row, set up in the big swing off the block at the net. Ball tried to be chased down, and a three-free back over from the Mustangs and Harms. Togman will set it over, popped up on the front row for the Mustangs, tip set over. Back set far side, attack, angled down. And the ball be knocked back over by the Mustangs. Set up on the far side. Ball angled deep. Chase down back row on a free ball be played onto the Mustang side. Set up in the attack, banged off the block at the net and down by Alyssa Harms. The ball be lined down the far side. Tip set at the net and you get a lift ball. 2-0. Mustang serve short. Popped up on the coyote side. Ball tipped back over and going to get the kill is Lindy Johnston. Koenig lines the ball deep. Running bump set up. The attack angle back over and down and in by Haley Dollarshell. Ball line down the middle. Kept up and the big attack from Lindy Johnston. Dug out on the Mustang side but not cleanly. Lindy Johnston will get the kill. It's now 3-2 in favor of the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. All line deep, popped up back row. Set up in the attack down, and we're tied at three here in the second. Kaiser with the serve. She's too deep and out. Can't commit those service errors early in close sets. Wendy Johnston back with the serve. She'll line it deep. Popped up back row. Chased down on a free ball. Be played over by Kaiser. Checked up backside by Kendra Koenig. Far side set Kirby Anderson over the top of the block. Ball angled near side. Popped up high, and then the set and the attack deep will be checked up again by the Coyotes. Anderson again, the attack far side. Down the middle this time will go dollar shell for Prairie. Back row set to Lindy Johnston. Her attack read by Prairie. Now they'll return the back row of their own and hammer it into the net with Kaiser. 5-3 Pawnee. Lindy Johnston. Finds the ball down the middle, popped up by Holtzworth. Far side set, crawling the net and down and in for a kill. Goes Northrop.
line serve popped up back row by Lindy Johnston. Lindy Johnston will set it up in a flat free. It'll be arc deep. Dug out back row. Set on the near side. And the attack over the top of the block from Northrop. Free ball back over after the Coyotes tipped it down. Set up in Sanders. Her attack off the net court kept in play and free back over by the Mustangs. Togman will go far side for Kirby Anderson. She'll hop the block at the net. And the ball can't be kept up cleanly. 6-4. It's 5-5 on the board here, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on the score. I'm not 100%. In the net went the Mustangs and should be 7-4. Serve lined into the net. Mustangs knocked the serve near side, popped up by the Coyotes. And the punch by Zedek into the block at the net. Well, we'll go with what's here in the gym on the scorecard. No, none of the scorers at the table are protesting, so 7-6. All line down the middle, dug up back row. Tip over and down and in for a kill by Dollar Shell. Pardon me, was that Northrop? That was Northrop. Seven all. Line served near side. Sat up in Morgan Sanders over the top of the block. Ball chased down far side by Daniel Harms and angled back over by Savannah Hastings. Far side set, Kendra Koenig hammers it off the block and gets the kill. Sarah Vieira with the serve, lying down the middle, popped up high back row, set up near side, big attack, rejected back by Brooke Tugman, and it's a 9-7 advantage for the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. Vieira flies a serve short, chased down by the Mustangs, far side set, and Savannah Hastings will put it down. She's had a nice couple matches here today for the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Down 1-0, they lost earlier to Weldon Valley after beating Briggsdale. Short serve, far side. Popped up by the Coyotes. Far side swing, Lindy Johnston. She's having a Lindy Johnston type of day. Line serve down the middle. Popped up high. And a free ball be played back over by Alyssa Harms. Kirby Anderson with the swing on the far side. Dug back out right into the radar zone of Lindy Johnston. Always ready to put the ball down, 11-8. Koenig, back with the serve, misplayed, back row, kept in play for the Mustangs, and a free ball goes into the net, 12-8. Misplay on the serve received for the Mustangs. They'll try and free it over, free it into the net, and a timeout going to be taken by the Prairie Lady Mustangs. The South Platte Sentinel has been serving Sterling and Logan County for more than 25 years, and they're proud to do it with accuracy, efficiency, and the most comprehensive local news, sports, and opinion you'll find anywhere. The South Platte Sentinel is available every Wednesday on your doorstep or online anytime at southplatsentinel.com. You can also check out the latest news and updates anytime on Facebook. Just visit the South Platte Sentinel Facebook page. The South Platte Sentinel, a proud supporter of Logan County. Dewey's Bar and Grill in downtown Stoneham wishes all area teams good luck in the volleyball tournament this week. Join Dewey's Bar and Grill for their house specials of prime rib, smoked ribs, and salmon, Thursday through Saturday from 5.30 to 8.30. Reservations are preferred. Call today for the Crab Boil Reservations on Saturday, November 10th. Call Dewey's Bar and Grill in downtown Stoneham at 970-735-2747. And good luck to all area teams in this week's volleyball tournament.
Pawnee Lady Coyotes up 13-8 here in the second. They'll have the serve on the hands of Kendra Koning out of the timeout. Prairie Lady Mustangs trying to free it over, and that's an offensive play by a back row player. A back row player cannot play a ball in an offensive manner higher than the net. With the back row setter there, that was the only play that was available. That's a air on the dig. Clean play dig this time, set far side, and the attack from Alyssa Harms. Sarah Vieira, the libero with the big swing, too big and out. But up by five are the Pawnee Coyotes here in the second. Kirby Anderson taking some nice swings today. She gets another one there. Nicely played up by the Mustangs. They'll go down the middle for Lindy Johnston. Tip near line and got it to go down and make it 15-9 in favor of Pawnee. Tugman with a serve. Far side. Ball popped up high. Banged off the block of the net. Chased down. And then the attack hammered deep by Zedek. Near side swing over or into the block, rather, for Kaiser. Make it 15 10 here in the second. Kaiser gets the serve. She'll be fielded by Vieira on the back row. Set up for Anderson. Tried to play line far side out of the middle. That's one of the hardest shots to play. Missed the line. And back to serve again goes Kaiser. Kaiser winds it down the middle. Dug out back row. Set far side tip over the block. Ball chased down on the Coyote side. And the near side swing from Northrop. Played to the far line and back within three come the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Rebecca Kaiser got the stuff block to start this. Will... Continue with the serve. Kaiser running approach. Clipped the net core. Ball kept in play. And a free ball played over by Kirby Anderson. Chased down back row for the Mustangs. And put down and in for a kill by Haley Dollarshell. And back within two come the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Kaiser with the running serve once again. Fielded by Vieira. Running bump up, and Vieira will free it over on the near side. Chase down. Popped up high, set up in the attack. Banged off the block at the net. Stuffed back by Afton Zedek. And the Coyotes in the run, but the Mustangs right back in the second one at 16-13. Wendy Johnston lines the serve deep. Dug out back row. Shoot set near side. The attack over the top of the block. Diving dig out. Can't be kept in play, and... Northrop will get the kill. Mustangs will look for the run. Haley Dollarshell back with a serve. Line deep. Missed the back line. Tried to catch that back line on an ace. Could not. Kirby Anderson will take the serve for the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. Ball popped up high, back row, set up down the middle, and the attack hammered deep from Northrop, set over by Togman, chased down by Kaiser, back row for the Mustangs. Free ball come back over from Holtzworth. Chance for the Coyotes, set down the middle for Morgan Sanders. She puts it down, dig back onto the Coyote side. They'll go back set near side this time to Zedek, dug out near the net, punched over by Harms. Zedek will set far side. Koenig angled down the line. Nice pancake out by Holsworth. And then the free ball goes into the net. Great bit of defense by both sides right there. But the Coyotes just a tick better and go back up by 4. 18-14. Anderson. Serve. Short. Attack angled far side by Savannah Hastings, the attack into the net by the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. And back the serve will go one of the two seniors, Daniel Harms, for Prairie. 
Harms arcing it short, popped up high, back row, set far side, the attack down the line from Koenig. Chase down, dug out, and then the free ball be played over in short. Zedek with the attack near side. Mustangs dig it out and a back row swing, too wide and out from Dollar Shell. Just when the Mustangs look like they can get a little momentum running their way, they commit a hitting error. Afton Zedek will step back with a serve for the Coyotes. Short serve popped up high, back row set up in the near side swing. Will be line deep and miss dug off the back row. It's the biggest opportunity the Mustangs have had right here, and they're going to have to ask freshman Shane Northrup to get a nice rotation on serve here. Anderson fields the ball off the back row, set up, and at the net, well, they got a misplay off the Coyotes. Take advantage of every misplay you can get. Back within two to try and even this at one apiece. Northrup. Lines the ball far side, popped up back row by Lindy Johnson. The attack by Zedek hopping off the block at the net. Chase down, set near side. The attack angled deep from Kaiser. Far side, Koenig will return it back for the Coyotes. Come back to Kaiser on the near post. She'll go off the block. Nice pancake out back row. Block at the net by Kaiser on the tip set attempt from Tillman. And back within one come the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Marcy Koenig, the head coach for Pawnee, having faith in her team to do it on the court. Line served deep, popped up high, back row. Set up in the attack, banged off the block at the net, and Kendra Koenig obliges, prevents the tie. 2018, Pawnee. Vieira will step back and serve. She'll line it deep, popped up high, back row. Set up and the punch down near side. Diving dig out and the ball hammered back down by Kaiser. And the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Will look for the tie again. Handing the serve to senior Savannah Hastings. Hastings punches it short. Fielded by Lindy Johnston. Down the middle Lindy Johnston. And she gets the kill. Pawnee understands big points. They made it to state last year understanding those big points as a timeout has been taken by the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. The Pawnee Station Restaurant wishes the Prairie Mustangs a great postseason tournament. Then visit the Pawnee Station Restaurant in New Raymer for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including their famous homemade pies and more. Open Monday through Thursday, 6 to 6, Friday, 6 to 10 p.m., and open Saturday, 9 to 10 p.m. Bring the whole family to the Pawnee Station Restaurant for a meal everyone will enjoy. Call 970-437-5726. Place an order to go. Go fight win. Prairie Mustangs. Paul and Luann of West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast congratulate the Pawnee Coyotes on a great season and wish them best of luck in the postseason. West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast is a working ranch located in northeast Colorado, 20 miles west of Grover. Create your own adventure at West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast. Bring your horse and ride across the plains. Visit the Pawnee Buttes or enjoy the Pawnee National Grasslands where 250 different species of birds are located. Call the West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast at 970-895-2482 or visit westpawneeranch.com. Pawnee with the serve out of the timeout. Ball popped up high and at the net. The attack from the Prairie Lady Mustangs goes down from Northrop. So they make it 21-20. And we'll look for the tie for a third time in this one. Ball line short, popped up on the front row, set up down the middle. Lindy Johnston draws the block in the net again. I was talking about this just for the Pawnee timeout. Pawnee last year understood big points, won a lot of close sets in this district tournament. Togman will line at far side, popped up, running bump set up, and the far side swing will be clipped off the net cord. And... The Mustangs again will have the tie opportunity. Looking for a fourth time. 
Back to serve, line deep, popped up high, back row by Koenig, and a flat free angled to the far side by Lindy Johnston. Dugout tipped into the block at the net, and the Prairie Mustangs have tied it at 22 here in the second. Pivotal points here as Rebecca Kaiser steps back to serve. Kaiser lines it down the middle, fielded by Vieira, back row, set up in the near side swing for Lindy Johnston. Again, big point, go to your big hitter, 23-22. Ball line deep, dugout back row, over the top of the block. Down the middle will go Morgan Sanders. Lift ball on the front row. And it's game points for Pawnee at 24-22. Line served deep from Lindy Johnston. Setting it up in the attack. Hammered down deep. Dug up back row. Set far side. And over the top of the block goes Kirby Anderson. Dug out back row. A free ball be played over in short. Checked up high by Koenig. Set down the middle. Sanders miss hits it. One game point staved off. 24-23 still another to come on the serve of Haley Dollarshell. Dollarshell lines the ball far side. Popped up back row. Set it up down the middle. Zedek over the top of the block. Checked up high. Set near side. Tipped deep. And the dig out by Koenig. Lindy Johnson will turn back, row swing, hammer deep, dug out back, set up near side, the attack from Savannah Hastings. Chased down by Johnston, set up for Zedek. Zedek off the block, lift ball on the front row, and that will end the second. It was very close as Pawnee does go up 2-0, 25-23. We'll be back with the third from the 1A District 4 Volleyball Tournament in this big-time small-town media production. You already know to call Smart Parts in Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. Dewey's Bar & Grill in downtown Stoneham wishes all area teams good luck in the volleyball tournament this week. Join Dewey's Bar & Grill for their house specials of prime rib, smoked ribs, and salmon, Thursday through Saturday from 5.30 to 8.30. Reservations are preferred. Call today for the crab boil reservations on Saturday, November 10th. Call Dewey's Bar & Grill in downtown Stoneham at 970-735-2747. And good luck to all area teams in this week's volleyball tournament. Here's a simple math problem. What's 1 plus 1? 2, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, 1 plus 1 add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where 1 plus 1 equals free. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Get your DVD copies of The Adventure Seeing Live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all of the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're community. Head to the third. 2-9 in favor of the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. They're one set away from guaranteeing their berth 
on Saturday in the championship pool, the 1A District 4 Volleyball Tournament. I'm Ben Blecka. Glad you have joined us. The Pawnee Lady Coyotes will be back going right to left here on ColoradoPreps.tv. The Prairie Lady Mustangs will start with a serve going left to right. Savannah Hastings will start with a serve for the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Hastings will take and line the ball deep. Ball misplay back row by the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. And Prairie takes the opening point here in the third. All line short popped up by Vieira on the back row. Set over the net by Tilgman. Kept up high for the Mustangs. And the set far side over the top of the block. Dug out by Zedek back row. Down the middle comes Lindy Johnston. And Lindy gets another kill. Evens us up and hands the serve over to Kendra Koenig. Koenig winds it down the middle. Chased down by the Mustangs, and off the block of the net goes Kaiser. Diving dig back onto the Mustang side, trying to keep it in play. That's going to be a lift ball, and Pawnee will take the advantage on that miscue for the Mustangs. Koenig. Well, line the serve far side. Misplayed back row. That's an ace. Koenig will fly the ball deep, checked up high off the back row, set down the middle in the tip by Kaiser off the block at the net. And Rebecca Kaiser getting another kill. She's made a very good case in this tournament to being one of the top players out of North Central next year. She definitely played some good volleyball today as well. Set up near side, Anderson down the line. The dig off by the Mustangs and a nice wide-eyed return by Kirby Anderson, seeing the opportunity to immediately put that ball back where it came from. Tugman with the serve, line deep, dug up back row, set down the middle in the attack, hammered, dug out, checked up high, and Lindy Johnston rejected back, but in the net was the Prairie Mustang block. So a 5-2 advantage in favor of the Coyotes. All be line short, popped up back row, set it up in the attack crawl in the net court, popped up high, and then down the middle, Lindy Johnston will go, tip it down, make it 6-2. Ball line short, popped up back row, back set near side, banged off the block at the net, Kirby Anderson digs it out, set it up, and Anderson will try and tip it back down, and does. 7-2 in favor of the Coyotes. Ball line deep. Dug up off the back row. Running bump set up. Set far side. And the attack hammered deep. Dug up by Sarah Vieira. Back row. Set tip far line. Lindy Johnson again with another kill. 8-2 and a quick timeout by the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Everybody knows that when a great opportunity, like an iPhone, presents itself, you grab it. Somebody says they've got tickets to the big game and can't go, you grab the tickets. Somebody tells you that you can get an iPhone at a special price, you grab it. And it's true. For a limited time, Viero has iPhones for only $79.99. And we'll even pay your early termination fees up to $200 when you switch to Viero. All that and coverage you can count on. So hurry into Viero today. Your iPhone is here. Restrictions apply. See store for details. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, every vehicle is fully inspected before it goes out on the lot, so you don't have to worry about buying that lemon. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Pawnee Lady Coyotes out of the timeout with the serve. Ball fielded back row by the Prairie Lady Mustangs. And at the net, a joust won by the Coyotes and then returned back off the block. So the Coyotes go up 
here in the third. It's a situation of this is the ninth straight set for this Prairie Lady Mustang team. Mental fatigue just becoming a factor right now. Ball dug out and tipped back over by Kirby Anderson. Return back deep, missing the back line, did Northrop, and it's 10-2. Ball line deep, dug out back row, set up in the attack. He'll be floated deep. Anderson will tip it down on the Mustang side and at the net. Again, down off the coyote block. Make it 11-2. Bumped up high and the free ball be played over in short. Diving dig back over by Vieira. Set up far side, tip down the line, popped up high. Set near side and the tip back over by Kirby Anderson. Ball popped up, chased down and a free ball be played over by the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Koenig will pop it up high, set far side, the attack by Zita, hammered deep and gets the kill. Counts on a 12-2 advantage now. And a 9-0 run, the majority of it on the serve of Brooke Tilgman here in the third. Tilgman flies it far side, popped up back row, back set near side attack, down the line and in for a kill. The Mustangs will finally end the run. They've dug themselves in a big hole. Back to serve will go Rebecca Kaiser. Kaiser flies it deep. Chased down by Koenig on the back row. Popped up far side swing. Lindy Johnston cross shot down and in. Emily Ellis will check in on the front row for Prairie. And for, for Pawnee and for Prairie, Erica Artis will come on. Serve too big and out for Lindy Johnson. That might be the only error she's made in this first match today. Back to serve will go Haley Dollarshell. Mustangs down 13-4. Serve knocked far side, popped up high back row. Set up down the middle and Zedek punched it over the top of the block. All popped up high, set far side. Near side set, Kirby Anderson will line it far side. Artist will turn, tip it, chase down off the back row. The attack by Koenig will be line deep. Dug up back side, set far side. The attack banged into the net and staying down by 10. Kirby Anderson with the serve. Misplay back row by the Mustangs. It's the Coyotes. Near side swing by Koenig off the block at the net. It's that far side, Artis over top. Ball knocked deep, chased down, and the attack by Lindy Johnson will be hammered back over. Running bump up, set, and the attack will be punched toward the back corner. From Savannah Hastings, Zedek will punch it over the top of the block and make it 15-4 in favor of Pawnee here in the third. Anderson will line it deep. Short set down the middle, Artis banged off the block, running bump up, and Artis will punch it deep again. Dug out by Anderson back row, set up and Ellis will turn. She'll swat it down, dug out backside. The attack will be knocked deep. Chased down by Lindy Johnson and the floater over the top of the block. Popped up high and the back row swing will come from Kaiser. Free ball be played over. Set up far side. Artis will miss hit the ball and it'll roll over and drop. 15-5. Daniel Harms with a serve for Prairie, line deep, popped up high, and Zedek will hammer it into the net. 
Walden Valley Pawnee, the final match of the day. About 20 minutes after the conclusion of this one. Another ace for the Prairie Lady Mustangs. They're not going to go down without a fight because if they lose, they know their season's done, and Pawnee and Weldon Valley know they're moving on. Emily Ellis in on the back row for the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. Ball be lying far side. Chicken winged out by... The Coyotes will drop it down, make it 16-7. Ellis with the cert. They'll line it deep, popped up back row by the Prairie Lady Mustangs, joust at the net, bumped up high, set up in the attack, will be a line deep. Popped up back row, set up in the free ball, be played over by Emily Ellis, checked up high, running bump up, and then the attack will be hammered deep. Shoot set near side attack. Down by Koenig. Dug out by the Mustangs. They'll free it back over. Down the middle. Miss hit at the net for the Pawnee Lady Coyotes and Brandy Togman. And that'll make it 16-8. On to serve for the Prairie Lady Mustangs will come Shea Northrup. Northrop lines it deep, popped up back row, set over, running bump set up, and then the free ball back over by the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Shoot set near side, the attack hammered into the net by Koenig. A lead cut down to seven. Attack will be line deep. Running bump set up, and the hammer back over by Lindy Johnston. Dug out back row. Turn angle far side. Johnston chased it down. Back set near side, and the tip over by Koenig into the block. Kept in play. Mustang set far side. Ball blocked at the net by Brandy Togman. They will pop it up high once again. Free ball be played over in short. Checked up back row. Back set near side. And the attack hammered into the block and stuffed down. And Sarah Vieira will step back to serve for Pawnee at 17-9. Ball line deep. Popped up back row. Set it up and at the net. A rejection by Lindy Johnston. Makes it 18-9. Line serve into the net by Sarah Vieira. The ball be floated deep. Misplayed on the back row on a lift ball. Cuts the lead down to seven. Ball be line short, popped up back row, set up far side, and the attack hammered deep. Dug out, chase down, a free ball back over. Ball line deep, running bump set up, and the set far side, tip down for the Prairie Lady Mustangs. Make it 18-12. Ball be line deep, chase down back row, set up Lindy Johnston with the cross shot. She'll get it to go down, make it 19-12. Koenig will put the serve short. And at the net, the ball goes down on the Pawnee side, so keeping this a six-point game. Mustang send Alyssa Arms back with the serve. The attack hammered off the back line of the Mustang side, make it 2013.
Coyote serve, line deep. And at the net, it's now 21-13. And the line serve short again from Tilgman. Attack at the net, make it 22-13. The Coyotes, three away. Ball be line short, popped up back row. Set it up in the attack at the net, down and in for a kill. Mustangs trying to get every last swing they possibly can to avoid going down to defeat. Tip set over, ball popped up high, back set, and the free ball be played over by Tilgman. Set up far side, and the ball hammered deep, too deep and out, make it 23-14. Ball be line deep, popped up high, back row. Lift ball, and it's match points at 24-14. Prairie has played nine straight sets. Line ball deep. Ball tipped over, popped up. Lindy Johnson sets it up, and Kirby Anderson will line it short. Popped up back row. Set up down the middle. Ball line deep, dug up back row. Set down the middle, and the attack banged off the block of the net by Brandy Tugman. Far artist, far side, too wide and out. And that will do it. The Pawnee Lady Coyotes have guaranteed their berth into Saturday and eliminated Prairie from uh, tournament play. 25-19, 25-23, and 25-15. Pawnee and Weldon Valley coming up, I would say, around 5 o'clock. So stay tuned on ColoradoPreps.tv.